Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Carrie Scroggins and I am doing an introduction of myself today. Um, I am an insurance agent and have been an insurance agent for many, many years, almost 40 years. Um, I have worked for just about every insurance company, I think, in that 40 year period. Um, in 2010, I decided that I was tired of doing all the work for other agents and so I decided to open up my own business and um, that was after almost 30 years in the business. I got my start working for a brand new State Farm agent when I was still in college and just really um, fell in love with the service side of things, helping people and insurance can definitely make a difference in your lives um, and it can certainly um, influence how you live, um, especially if there's life insurance involved. But I just really fell in love with the customer service side of it because it can make a significant difference in your life. We all have to have it too. Insurance is one of those necessities in life that we have to have. Just about every state has mandatory requirements, especially on auto insurance. And I just kind of fell into it and I've been in it ever since and I love what I do. Um, so during that first 30 years of my career, I did work for State Farm and Allstate and independent agents. And um, I was approached in 2010 by Allstate to open my own agency. And I thought, well, you know, my kids are grown. Maybe now's the time for me to really think about opening a business where I could devote the amount of time that was going to be needed to get a business started. Um, my youngest child had uh, was graduating from high school and going off to college. And so I made the decision that the timing was right. And I ended up working with Allstate. I opened my Allstate agency in 2010 and um, stayed with Allstate until 2013. And the reason I left Allstate was because of renewals. And I got very frustrated and um, uh, disappointed in the constant increases that I would see for clients who had no claims, they paid their bills. Um, so why were they getting such huge rate increases when there was no uh, underwriting reason that they were chained, that they were being uh, charged? And I came to realize that it was more about the company rather than the client. And so I made a decision that right then and there that I didn't want to go back into a captive situation, a captive agency. And what, what basically that means is that when you're an agent and you're a captive agent, you can only write for one carrier. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted to be able to give my clients options, as many options as possible. So I opened an independent agency. Uh, I belong to a national group of agents. Uh, we're in every state. And so what we do is we pool our production and we then go to the carriers and we get group pricing. Uh, whenever you're on any sort of insurance and it's a group basis, you're always going to save money. That's just, it's a numbers game. And so I opened my independent agency in, in 2013. I left Allstate the same year and I opened my business. At the time, uh, my Allstate agency and my first independent agency was up in Weatherford, Texas, which is just due west of Fort Worth. And um, we just did really well. We were, you know, chugging along and then we had some personal things change in our lives and all of our kids ended up back in the Houston area. So I had two agencies for almost four years, um, one in the Weatherford area and then one down in the Houston area. So I traveled back and forth between both agencies because, you know, after seven years, my agency was big enough that we needed to um, have an agency up there. And I had a great employee that worked for me for four years. She took really good care of um, my clients and the service work while I was, you know, traveling in between the two agencies. And um, then COVID hit. <laughs> and so everything in life changed with COVID. And so I have just recently built my brand new facility. Um, absolutely thrilled to pieces. It's state of the art. It's got every convenience that we could possibly need to run an insurance agency. Um, and I have combined those agencies down near the Houston area. 
I'm just north of Houston, actually. And so um, here we are. I have over 40 carriers that I work with. I write all lines of insurance, all lines of personal insurance, all lines of commercial insurance, life, health, you name it, I write it. Uh, and I'm very passionate about it and I love what I do. And so um, when I get a new client in, what we do is we search as many carriers as I can to find the best packages at the best price. And the packages are for you, not just cookie cutter. That's a really important piece of this industry that a lot of agents miss. You just can't write a cookie cutter uh, package for everybody. Not everybody's situation is the same. Not everybody's finances is the same. Um, so it's really important that when you are writing insurance, that you are writing it based on, upon the individual's needs. And I believe that wholeheartedly. There's a lot of agents that don't do that. They just write the biggest premium. That's not how I operate. Um, my insurance agency is a relationship-based um, business. So my clients and their needs come first, uh, first and foremost. So we offer as many quotes as possible at New Business. We get you the best package at the best price. Um, then we also offer those services at renewal. If you have a renewal that you don't like, then by all means, we will reshop the package and see if we can find better rates for you. Nine times out of 10, we do. Um, this year has been a, a pretty big challenge because we had a major storm here in Texas. I'm in Texas. Um, we had a massive snowstorm at the beginning of the year. And so rates have just across the board gone up um, on all levels, unfortunately. But I do think it's leveling back off now. So hopefully as we get into the latter part of 2021, it's now October, uh, I hope to see that the, the rates level back out um, towards the end of the year, but most certainly into 2022. So I've had a long career in the insurance business. I've seen just about everything that you could possibly see. Um, as I said, I, I believe very, very sincerely that insurance policies need to be written based upon individual needs and not just in a some sort of cookie cutter um, operation where everybody gets the same thing. It, it just, life is not like that. So a um, little bit about me. I came to the United States in the late sixties. My dad came here for his professional career. He's a retired professional golfer. So we moved from Australia to the United States and my family has lived the American dream. I'm very passionate about the United States. I love my home country, of course, because it's my home country uh, and my heritage is from there, but I am very passionate about the United States and um, defending our democracy and our Republic. And um, I feel very blessed to have lived here, grown up here, gone to college here, have a business here, have my family is here. I'm married and I have three children, two boys and a girl, and I have three grandchildren now. And um, I've lived in Texas the majority of my life. Uh, we originally moved to Miami and then for my dad's travel schedule, we ended up relocating to the Houston area. Um, so his travel schedules could be easier going in both directions because it's sort of right in the middle of the country. Um, Moved to Arizona for a few years when I, my youngest son and I both had asthma and then came back to Texas and we've been here ever since. And we have just, as I said, relocated back down to the Houston area because all of our children are here and of course our grandchildren. So can't, can't not be a part of their lives. So, um, went to Texas A&M and University of Oklahoma, uh, studied, studied journalism and, um, marketing and so I've sort of ended up in that sort of field. Insurance is all about that sort of thing, marketing and sales and um, my product that I sell is just um, an insurance policy versus some other commodity. So um, I love what I do and I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. I am very hands-on in my agency. I do not believe in abdicating my agency, agency to other people. That's how you lose control of your agency. And so I am definitely hands-on in the day-to-day -day operations of my business because that's important for you. Um, 
So I would love the opportunity to work with you. Uh, you can reach me um, on several different ways. You can call my agency. My numbers are 817-374-4477. That's the North Texas Exchange or 832-391-8271. That's down in the Houston area. You can reach me on my cell, which is 817-694-0053. You can also stop by my website, which is www.kds-insurance-services.com. You can send me a message via the website, or you can stop by my YouTube channel and see all the videos that I post. I do post videos twice a week that are um, designed for educational purposes only to help the public understand insurance and make it not so confusing because it can be a confusing, um, especially if you don't have any experience in it. So I would love the opportunity to hear from you. Um, we can definitely, the average client of mine when they join my agency saves about 20% normally across the board. Of course, that depends on the individual um, person and their household and their household needs. But at, on the average, uh, we see anywhere from 20 to 30% savings um, when we write a new client. And um, so I'd love to put that money back in your pocket. Um, you know, we all need to be saving money. Our, our economy is definitely swinging in the wrong direction. So if I can help you put some money back in your pocket, I would love to be able to help you do that. So that's me. I'm Carrie Devlin Scroggins, and I would love the opportunity to work with you. So um, please send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can if I miss you on the phone, because I do live on the phone pretty much these days. So um, anyways, I would love the opportunity to help you. So please reach out and I will get back to you as quick as I can if I miss your phone call. Make it a great week. I hope to hear from you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.